Hello, good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. How are you today? I fine, thank you. Fine. Okay, good. How about you, Danny? Jose, how are you doing today? Este, hi, very good, teacher. Very good. That's nice to hear that. Excellent. And the rest of you, Brian? Well, it's really hot today, so thank you for being on time. We're going to start the class today. I guess that maybe you have um, work in the platform, right? You know that the section number four is about a uh, present thing. Do you have any question? Is it clear? Do you feel it's difficult? Do you feel it difficult, the present continuous? You studied that in section number four. So today we're going to uh, review the section number four. Let me share the material with you. Okay, uh, this is what you have in section number four. The name of the unit is Whose genes are these? Mm -hmm. And you have some clothes vocabulary. Clothes for work and clothes for leisure. So it is a different kind of clothes, right? It's a different when you have to go to work, you use one kind of clothes. And when you are at home, it's different. And that is called clothes for leisure. Is the leisure clear for you, the meaning of leisure? La palabra leisure, ¿es la palabra para ustedes? Yes. ¿Qué es leisure? Is clear? No questions? ¿Cómo es leisure? Leisure, ajá. Uh -huh. Leisure. Leisure. Por bata. Ah. Um, Ok, leisure es la ropa que se usa como la ropa de ocio, la ropa que nos ponemos en nuestro tiempo libre. Es diferente a la ropa que uno usualmente lleva al trabajo, ¿verdad? Uh, la ropa diaria, se parece. La ropa diaria, podríamos decir así. Muy bien, Marlon. Esa es las clothes for leisure. Clothes es ropa. Eh, vamos a escuchar el, el audio. Eh, ustedes pueden repetir en casa siempre si gustan primero lo vamos a hacer con el micrófono en silencio para evitar el, el, el desorden verdad que unos van eh, más adelante que otros por la velocidad del internet entonces le voy a poner el audio un par de veces para que ustedes vayan repasando el vocabulario de las ropas Unit 4. Whose genes are these? Page 22, Exercise 1. Word Power. Close. Part A. Listen and Practice. Close for Work. Tie. Shirt. Belt. Coat. Jacket. Pants. Suit. Shoes. Scarf. Blouse. Skirt. High heels. Raincoat. Dress. Clothes for leisure. Hat. Sweater. Gloves. Jeans. Boots. Cap. T-shirt, shorts, socks, sneakers, pajamas, swimsuits. Unit 4. Whose jeans are these? Page 22, Exercise 1. Word Power. Close. 
Part A. Listen and practice. Clothes for work. Tie. Shirt. Belt. Coat. Jacket. Pants. Suit. Shoes. Scarf. Blouse. Skirt. High heels. Raincoat. Dress. Clothes for leisure. Hat. Sweater. Gloves. Jeans. Boots. Cap. T-shirt. Shorts. Socks. Sneakers. Pajamas. Swimsuits. Okay, so the vocabulary is pretty easy. Está bastante fácil, ¿verdad? Nada más eh, una cosa que a veces es como tiende a, a, a confundir o, o a, a dar eh, problemas es la palabra esta. ¿Cómo la pronunciamos? Do you remember? ¿Cómo sweet. se pronuncia? ¿Mm? Sweet. Are you sure it's sweet? Ese viene siendo como en conjunto, ¿verdad? El traje completo. Ajá, es el conjunto, pero ¿cómo se pronuncia? Sweet. 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 Mm. Les voy a poner right. el audio otra vez. Unit 4. Whose jeans are these? Page 22, exercise 1. Word power. Close. Part A. Listen and practice. Clothes for work. Tie. Shirt. Belt. Coat. Jacket. Pants. Suit. Suit. Uh -huh. Suit. Suit. Remember that. la la... La, la I, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es? Este? La Ajá, eh, lo que pasa es que son dos palabras diferentes que se escriben igual, pero si lo pronunciamos como suit, así como lo acabamos de escuchar, nos referimos al conjunto de ropa, al pronunciarlo como suit, pero si decimos suit, es una habitación. Uh -huh. Igual, uh, recuerden ahí donde están los trajes de baño, se llaman swim suit. Swim suit, swim suit, swim suit. Eh, a veces se pone como anotar ahí como, como escuchamos que se pronuncia la palabra. Ahí podrían poner S-U-T, suit, suit, algo así suena, suit. Y recordar que si decimos suit es una habitación. Se escriben igual, pero eh, depende de la pronunciación lo que se quiera decir. Eh, vamos a continuar entonces, después de esto tenemos una conversación, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, oh, we have some vocabulary about colors. I know that you work with clothes, so this is useful vocabulary for you. So we're going to listen to the colors and repeat. Page 23, exercise 2. Colors. Part A. Listen and practice. White. Light gray. Gray. Dark gray. Beige. Light brown. Brown. Dark brown. Black. Red. Pink. Orange. Yellow, light green, green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Page 23, Exercise 2, Colors. Part A, Listen and Practice. White, 
light gray, gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, green. Dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Do you have any question about the colors vocabulary? No. No questions. Okay, then we continue. Um, with uh, the conversation, and this is in the platform. So we are going to listen the complete conversation at once, right? And then we're going to discuss if you have any questions about it. Page 23, exercise three, conversation. It's a disaster. Listen and practice. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are these? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What? Okay, any question about vocabulary, pronunciation? Repeat, please. Sure, no problem. Page 23, Exercise 3, Conversation. It's a disaster. Listen and practice. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no, all our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are these? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. Okay, is there any question about vocabulary or pronunciation? Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Este, la, eh, a mí, yo, la persona siempre que me, que me cuesta el, eh, al principio de flow, floater o cómo se pronuncia eso, es aquí en un poco de... Clothes. 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 Como con DS, clothes, digamos, al final, como DS, al final, clothes. Marlon? Eh, donde dice, eh, donde es un desastre, la palabra es desastre. Disaster. Ah, digo, disaster. Que, ajá, ajá, di, di, disa, ajá. ¿Cómo disaster. Se dice? Disaster. Así como se escribe, si se pronuncia. Disaster. disaster. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, ok. Ok, any other? Otra donde dice eh, blue, la blusa azul, eh, en blue blues, así se pronunciaría. Light blue blouse. 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 Light blue blouse. 
light blue blouse blouse mm -hmm. okay light blue blouse any other question Okay, I'm going to play it one more time and I'm going to uh, stop to give you some time for you to repeat when you hear. Repeat after you hear. Page 23, exercise three, conversation. It's a disaster. Listen and practice. Great. Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no! All our clothes are light blue! Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are these? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. Are you ready to role play the conversation or you want to practice one more time? Do you want to practice one more time? The practice, the practice teacher. Okay. I'm going to play the recording so that you can practice one more time. And after that, we're going to role play the conversation. Let's practice. Page 23, exercise three, conversation. It's a disaster. Listen and practice. Great, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait, it is mine. It's a disaster. Oh no! All our clothes are light blue! Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are these? Uh, they're mine. 
Sorry. Hey, do we have two volunteers to role play? Danny Mancino. And... Loco, Danny. Okay. Hamilton. Hamilton and Danny. Okay. Yes. Danny. Oh, when, uh, oh. Patty yes, uh, or Julie? Yes, practice. ¿Con quién? ¿Con Patty o con Julie? Este. ¿Con Va, yo empiezo, pues. Hombre de Dios. Démoslo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blue? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not my white. It's my. It's a disaster. Oh no. All our clothes are the light blue. The here's the problem. It's this new blue jeans. What jeans are these? Oh, they're mine, sorry. Es bien gracioso porque le, le dice de que por el pantalón azul toda la, la ropa le hizo celeste. Yes, yes. So, yes. Eso me estaba riendo de ello. Mm -hmm. Have this ever happened to you? Do you do the laundry? Ya nos ha pasado al man de alguno cuando hacemos la lavada, ¿verdad? Ok. Excelente, excelente participación, muy bien, solo queremos más práctica para que lo hagan más fluido y solamente recordar la pronunciación de dos palabras, blouse, blouse, remember, blouse, y aquí, wait, 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 blouse, wait, excelente, uh, we have two more volunteers. You? Marlon you. Omar. Yo, teacher. Okay, and Oscar Vasquez. Tengo a Marlon y a Oscar que levantaron la manita. Okay, go ahead. Voy a yo, voy a, yo a Yuli. Bueno, igual, dale, dale. Eh, empiezo yo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Great. Or, cloth are dry. Why blue? Se faltó una palabra ahí, pero... La pregunta, la pregunta. Ya hizo la primera parte. Great, our clothes are dry. Falta una palabra. What is my... What is my new blouse? What is uh, what... new blouse? What color it is? It's white. It's like blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not nice. Where is I? It's a disaster. Oh no. I our clothes are like blues, blouse. Quizás se fue el compañero, ya no lo veo ahí. ¿Se le cayó el inter quizás? Parece que se le cayó el inter. Ok, Marvin. You can practice with Marvin, Marlon. Ok, comenzamos de nuevo entonces. Uh -huh. Yo soy Julius, siempre. Great Ur, blues are dry. Where is my night blues? Uh, what color it is? Here, a light blue blue. 
It's white. It's white. It's white. Ese ya te sirve. Ah, uh, it's white. Mm -hmm. uh, hair fly. Blue blouse. Blouse. Eh, it blouse. Is blue. Let's repeat blouse. this one, Marlon. Here is. Here's. Here's a light blue blouse. Here's a light blue blouse. Blouse. Excellent. It is it yours? No, it's not my way. It's my. It's a dis disaster. Oh no! I all close. I would like blouse. Here's the problem. It's this new blue jeans was. Who's? Who's jeans? jeans? Are this? Jeans are this. Oh, here am I. Sorry. Okay, very good. Good job. Thank you so much for practicing. Do we have two more? Do we have two more volunteers? Your teacher. Yo, your teacher. Hector y veo la manita de José, ¿verdad? José y Hector. Ok, ok. ¿Quién empieza? Eh, dale vos entonces. Ok. Voy a hacer yo, Pat. Yes. Great. All close all day. Right. What color is it? Is white. Hers a light blue blue blouse. Is is your? Uh, no, it's not mine. When it is mine, it is a disaster. Oh no! All old clothes are light blue here's the problem is this new blue jeans what jeans are these oh uh, mm. they're, 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 they're mine they're my sorry okay very good very very good just let's repeat this try Try and then here's here is here is here is here's good. Uh, I have Brian Brian tenía levantada la mano y no sé si alguien le puede ayudar a Brian. Danny, okay, thank you, Danny. Okay, teacher. ¿Cuál quiere ser el primero o el segundo? Yes, uh, gray or clouds are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is this? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it true? No. It's not my weight. It is my. It's a disaster. Oh no! All our blood are light blue. Here's the problem. Is this new blood? New blood jeans growth. Oh, they are my sorry. Very good job. So, um, let's uh go to the breakout rooms. You're doing it good. 
Uh, we need to practice more in order to get fluent. Vamos a practicarlo más para, para que se oiga más fluido y ahí en confianza con sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Le voy a compartir pantalla y, bueno, cuando estoy compartiendo no me puedo unir a los Zooms, pero, eh, bueno, eh, cualquier cosa pueden escribir al... A, al chat de la meeting o pedir ayuda. Hay un botoncito que dice ask for help, pero en ese caso dejaría de compartir. Traten y si no, alguna pregunta la hacen cuando regresemos a la sección principal. Vamos a hacer los breakout rooms y después vamos a chequear asistencia. Ya esperamos bastantito y solo tengo 11 conectados. Ok. Okay, let's practice and break up rooms. And I will start sharing and break up rooms.
Did everybody practice? Yes. Yes, awesome. teacher. Fantastic. Oh, ya en grupo me imagino que se ayudan con la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Se recuerdan cómo era. <laughs> ya más en confianza. Okay. All right. Uh, we're going to check attendance. Uh, remember to say present when you hear your names. And Benjamin Antonio. Creo que nunca se ha unido. Brian Henry. Gracias, coach. Thank you. Carla Patricia. Carla Patricia. Carlos Enrique Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Dani Elías. Present teacher. Thank you. Eric Sigredo. Eric Sigredo. Hamilton. Present teacher. Thank you, Hamilton. Héctor Manuel Ramos. Héctor Manuel Ramos. José Alexander Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you. José David Cardona. José David Cardona. Marlon Alberto Peñate. Present teacher. Thank you. Marlon Omar Menjiva. Present. Thank you. Marvin Arnoldo Caballero. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Alexander Vázquez. Es el que tenía problemas con el internet, Tisha. Ah, sí, se conectó un ratito y se le cayó, ¿verdad? ¿Qué? Okay. Ahorita, ahorita acaba de salir también, imagino que por el internet también, porque estaba activo. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Oscar Armando Flores. Present. Thank you. Samuel Osvaldo Flores. Walter Antonio Mejía. Walter Antonio Mejía. Okay, so we are going to continue here with your topics for today. And let's see. Let me show you the video about possessives. We are going to check the video and then you tell me if you have any questions, if you would like to have more examples about the topic, you can tell me. Let me share screen again. Give me one moment. Okay, here we are in the platform. 
Let us uh, start in the video about the possessives and then you tell me if you have any questions about this. Teacher, teacher. Sí. Eh, dice Héctor Ramos que lo sacó del, del video chat. Está reintentando eh, conectarse de nuevo, por eso no le contestó el presencia. Ah, ok. Bueno, yo chequeo ahí entonces en la, en la lista. Gracias, Marlon. Ok. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to use possessives in order to describe the long end of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possessives that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is 
her car, the object is car. And um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks. Umbrella. And car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object I'm going to grade out and as you can see the object is at the beginning not at the end as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart under names, Pat's blouse Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe as. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. For example, my car is black. The black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress is hers. My co-workers' computer is white. His computer is white. Okay, uh, was the, the video clear? Was the video clear or not really? Hello? No teacher, podría darle una retroalimentación. Okay, sure. Eh, hay diferentes formas de expresar eh, posesión, de hablar de que algo nos pertenece. Una forma es utilizando possessive adjectives, otra es utilizando possessive pronouns y la otra es utilizando los nombres de las personas. En la primera, usando los possessive adjectives, es... Uh, y ahí, como recuerdan en el video, va relacionado con la persona, ¿verdad? Si yo digo que algo me pertenece a mí, el pronombre es I, ¿verdad? Entonces, si al, algo me pertenece a mí, yo digo, si voy a utilizar un possessive adjective, es my. My. Y si voy a usar possessive pronoun, mine. Eh, se escribe diferente y también la pronunciación es diferente. My. Possessive adjective, possessive pronoun, mine. Ahora bien, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Ambos significan eh, 
eh, que me pertenece a mí algo. La diferencia es que el possessive adjective va antes del de objeto. Si se fijan, aquí estamos hablando de calcetines. Y el ejemplo dice, these are, estos son mis calcetines. Mis calcetines. Ahora, eh, acuérdense que después del possessive adjective tiene que ir un algo. El qué es lo que es mío. Estos son mis, ¿qué? Calcetines. En cambio, aquí en el possessive pronoun diría, estos calcetines son míos. Mis, míos. ¿Ok? Entonces, en el, en el possessive pronoun, el objeto se menciona antes. Y a veces ni se menciona, dependiendo del caso. Ya vamos a ver más adelante eso. Eh, veamos. Eh, podemos decir con los possessive adjective, eh, vamos a hacer un par de ejemplos. Para hacer los tres. Ok, aquí estamos con possessive adjectives, como veíamos eh, en el material anteriormente, ¿verdad? Eh, possessive adjective y possessive pronoun. Este sería el possessive adjective acá. This is your, este es tu qué, tu casa. This is your, seguido de algo, casa. En este caso, el objeto se menciona antes cuando vamos a utilizar un possessive pronoun. Y digo, this house is yours. Esta casa es tuya y se escribe diferente. Ahora, la otra forma, la tercera que estaba utilizándose ahí era con el nombre de las personas. So, I can say, uh, this is my Ok. Um, Armando's house is blue. Esta comita, este apóstrofe con la S, demuestra posesión. ¿De quién es la casa? De Armando. Armando's house is blue. La casa de Armando es azul. Entonces, cuando lo hagamos con los nombres, con los nombres de las personas, Nada más hay que poner una comita y una S, apóstrofe y S para cuando... Y eso es bien común en los nombres de negocio, vea. A veces es like, si decimos eh, la panadería de Pedro, sería Pedro's Bakery. Uh -huh. Es bien común, así. Veamos, eh, no sé si queda un poco más claro ahora. Uh -huh. Este, o sea que la S se pone por medio de la D, por la, por difer, este, ajá, para, o sea, la S se pone en vez de la LA, la casa, digamos, se usaría no. la S, no. No, S apóstrofe con la S es como decir D. D, ajá, uh -huh. exacto, D, pero ya no llevaría el D. El, la posesión, la pertenencia, déjeme borrar aquí. Ok. En mi set, por ejemplo, eh, puedo decir.
que estoy diciendo ahí. Daughter. Daughter es hija y cute. ¿Qué dijimos que era la clase pasada que vimos eso? Cute. Como adorable, como dulce. Ajá, adorable. Tierno. Entonces, ¿qué dice ahí? Ahí dice que la hermana, mm, sí. la hermana ¿La hija? De, de José, ah, no, la hija de José es adorable. Ajá. Es bueno, o, es, o es dulce, pues algo agradable. Exacto. Entonces, esa es la función de esta, la hija, daughter, ¿de quién? De José. De José. Ajá. Esa es la función de, de, eh, para expresar posesión con el nombre, el nombre de la persona. Veamos otro ejemplo. Perdón. No sé si le atiné. <laughs> Danny's car is white. Okay. ¿Qué dice ahí? El carro de Danny blanco. es blanco. Ajá. Entonces It's estamos bad. hablando. Eh. Ok, perdón, no le atiné. <laughs> ok, Danny's car. Entonces, ¿ven esta posesión? ¿De quién es el carro? De Danny. Entonces, esto es este apóstrofe con la S, es como decir de. De fulano. Ay, Pero, ay, 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 ¿Sí? Una pregunta. En ese tercer donde dice Dani siempre va a ir al inicio. Siempre va a ir al inicio. Mm, o sea, ¿El nombre? Les... En ah, esa oración, nombre. sí. Uh -huh. Acuérdense que siempre va el sujeto, que sea luego el objeto, luego el verbo y luego un complemento. Ah, ese okay. sería el orden. Y ahí depende, porque, por ejemplo, si estamos haciendo una pregunta. Mm. Ahí depende. Entonces, ahí estoy haciendo una pregunta. Ya no va a ir al principio, ¿verdad? What color is Danny's car? Porque en la primera sería como una afirmación, ¿verdad? Esa es una afirmación. Uh -huh. Una afirmación. Y ya la segunda es como una tipo pregunta. Primero es pregunta. Va la pre uh -huh. Ah, ok. Esa era mi duda. What color is Danny's car? Ahí sí ya cambia el orden, dependiendo, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. Va a depender para decir en qué orden va a ir. No siempre va a ir como que primero, ¿verdad? El nombre con el posesivo. Eh, no sé si estamos claros ya con esta parte o quieren más ejemplos. Perfecto. Ok, good. Entonces, recuérdense, uy, a veces la verdad que, que eh, es como para memorizárselos a veces, es como que este es un posesivo adjetivo, este es un posesivo prano, este es un es, no, no es que nos vamos a sentar a memorizarnos qué es qué, porque incluso los nombres gramaticales son un poquito como, mmm, nos tienden a dar ese como, no sé, no gusta, siente uno, el, el, los nombres gramaticales de las cosas son como que nos dan un poquito de, de miedo, dolor de cabeza, entonces, eh, no, no pensemos que si es eh, esto, aquello o lo otro, sino que solo ver qué es lo que vamos a ocupar dependiendo del cartelito ahí. Entonces, haciendo este tipo de ejercicios es como nos vamos eh, memorizando, ¿verdad? Que cómo se va a ocupar, aunque no sepamos si se llama possessive adjective, si se llama possessive pronoun o possessive name. Al principio sí vamos viendo el cartelito y decimos... Ok, aquí dice, is this Jennifer's hat? Ajá, pregunta, ¿este es el sombrero de Jennifer? No, it's not. No es de ella, it's not. Ajá, va a ir hers aquí porque va de último. Y como les decía, cuando va de, de, de último, el, el objeto se menciona antes. 
o no se menciona, entonces en ese caso, possessive pronoun. ¿Por qué ella no lo mencionó aquí? Porque ya lo mencionaron en la pregunta. En la pregunta ya dijeron hat. Entonces ya sabemos que están hablando de un sombrero. ¿Para qué volver a repetir hat? Ok, entonces por eso ahí, buenas tardes, por eso ahí no se ve ilustrado. No, it's not hers. Así como está, no, it's not hers. Ya se mencionó anterior, anteriormente. It's, ¿de quién es? Mine. Mine, ajá, vamos a usar mine, porque si uso my, Después tendría que decir hat aquí, ¿verdad? Porque decimos aquí, possessive adjective lleva el objeto después. Uh -huh. Entonces, aquí ya no menciona objeto. Entonces, ok. Entonces, ahí escribo mine. It's mine. Uh -huh. Y así van a ir analizando, haciendo este ejercicio y guiándose con el cuadrito que está acá. Al principio nos esto que estar revisando, estar chequeando el cuadrito, ya después se nos va quedando, pero sí requiere mucha práctica, muchos ejercicios. Así que pues, eh, no sé si quieren hacerlo aquí en la sección principal, les doy el control o quieren hacerlo en breakout rooms, ustedes este ejercicio. Solo que si los hacen en breakup no les puedo compartir yo la pantalla porque ajá, todos querían escribir ahí. Aquí, teacher. Aquí, ok. ¿Alguien quiere el control para hacer el número dos, el ejercicio dos? O les doy tiempito, ¿verdad? Para que primero lo hagan en su, no sé si tienen el cuadernito o el material impreso. Les voy a dar tiempo para que vayan analizando qué es qué. Y luego lo resolvemos aquí en la sección principal. ¿Ok? I'll give you time. Dice la segunda sería, bueno, si no me equivoco yo, sería your. Si no, si no me equivoco. Porque está hablando de gloves o al final. Uh -huh. Sí, trátenlo sería... de hacer ahí. Ajá, sería your. ¿Por qué, Marlon? Porque la, el, la de último el objeto. Ajá, porque después se menciona el objeto. Entonces está el possessive adjective y luego el objeto. Are these your gloves? Ok. Y luego pueden seguir analizando ahí cada quien y en un ratito revisamos las respuestas.
predicó. Okay, are you ready to check the answers? Ready? Yes. Okay. Ready. Okay, so uh, volunteer to complete the number two. Volunteer. So yeah, my objective is Okay, you have the control. You can control the screen now. Tiene que tocar con el mouse el cuadrito y arrastrarlo hasta el. No, no puede. Okay, click here. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue. Tiene que hacer clic en el espacio de los puntitos para que le aparezca ahí el cuadrito de texto. Ya completó esta, ahora baja. O para que lo pueda ver ahí, lo aparto. Let's ask Sally. Cuando ya tenga la respuesta, solo hace clic en la... Ahí está, excelente. Solo hay que subirlo un poquito. Ahí subalo. Para subir, tienen que ponerlo acá, en donde está azulito, y luego sube. Donde está acá. Con el mouse tienen que tocar donde está el cuadrito azul, donde está rellenito, donde está rellenito y lo sube. Acá. Aquí, Marlon, aquí, donde está azulito, aquí, ahí. Ahí tiene que tocar y subir. No se pudo. Ahí va. No, no puedo ir. Eh, bueno, vamos. Que se toque, se sube. Vamos a ver. Okay, there you go, Marlon. Thank you so much. No, they are not my gloves. Let's ask Sally. Maybe they are her gloves. Uh -huh. Good, Marlon. Excellent. The answers are correct. Do we have a volunteer for number three? I'm going to for number three. No volunteers? The answer in letter A is whose, whose two shears are these? Okay, Carlos, you can type the answers. Okay, whose shares are these? Ajá, porque es una pregunta. Necesitamos la, la palabra de pregunta, la question word. Whose jeans, whose t-shirts are these? Are they Julie's and Pat's? Continue, Carlos. <sighs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Are you sure, Carlos? But these socks are theirs. Uh -huh. The object was mentioned before. Uh -huh. And these shorts are yours. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Very good job, Carlos. Thank you so much. I volunteer to solve the number four. Volunteer to complete the number four. No volunteers? Teacher, can you pick up the the presentation? Okay, you can write there. Okay. So what are the answers to number four? A volunteer? Okay, Carlos. These are not our clothes. Good. Our, porque luego se menciona el objeto, ¿verdad? Así como está ahí, our clothes. Ya les voy a señalar con el dedo ahí. <laughs> okay. Um, continue with B, part B. Can you scroll up, please? Excellent. Very well done. Excellent answer. Uh, so here, aquí se usa our, okay? Thank you so much, Carlos. Usamos um, our. Okay. Hey, these are not our clothes. Ven acá, our, nuestro qué? Ropa. Siempre ha sido de algo. Y en la parte B, you're right. Ajá, tienes razón. Están por allá. Entonces aquí ya no lo menciona el, el porque ya se mencionó acá, ¿verdad? Entonces, como para no repetir. Entonces aquí ya no se menciona. Al no mencionarse, utilizamos el, eh, esta partecita, el que sería possessive pues, pronoun. You're right. Ours are over there. Dice aquí, eh, por ejemplo, eh, en este, en el número dos. ¿Ven cuántas veces se repite gloves? Are these your gloves? No, they are not my gloves. Let's ask Sally, maybe they are her gloves. Entonces, a veces para evitar tanta repetición, 
se combinan con los possessive pronouns, así como se hizo aquí. El primero es un possessive adjective y luego en la respuesta eh, se estructura con un possessive pronoun. Ok, good. Así es que no es eh, cada cosa tiene una función. Puede ser para no repetir tanto, para no fijar ya sea uno o lo otro. O pues para no complicarnos, tal vez solo positive adjectives, así como está en el 2. Eh, y si pues se quiere hacer algo más estructurado y menos repetitivo, va a leernos de ambos. Positive adjective, positive pronoun. Y acuérdense que también podemos expresar posesión con los names. Eh, ¿Preguntas? En una conversación pueden conjugarse los tres. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok. ¿Any other question? No, teacher. Okay, so let me um, stop sharing. We have a, a listening here. It is important to practice listening as well. So let me change here. We're going to change. And uh, yes, this one is a little bit uh, different. The, the names are different. So, um, Listen to someone describe this closing number, the pictures from one to six. What, I, uh, what you can do is just draw the squares, Patrick, Greg, Alex, Beth, Anna, and Grace. And then you put the numbers next to the names of the person. Just to practice speaking. Let me know when you're ready. Sorry, listening. Ustedes igual tercito. Igual te el monte. Hola, hola, Dani. ¿Ready? Ustedes el tercito, por favor. Let me know when you're ready. We're ready. Okay, so we're going to listen and you have to put the numbers according, for example, in the first one, you will hear that they are describing Greg's clothes. So this is the instruction. Listen to someone describe these clothes. Number the pictures from one to six. We're going to listen the audio maybe twice and then we will check the answers. Page 24, exercise six, listening. His shirt is green. Part A, listen to someone describe these clothes. Number the pictures from one to six. One. His shirt is green and his jeans are light blue. His belt is black. His shoes are light brown. Two. His shirt is white. His belt is black and his shoes are dark brown. His jeans are dark blue. 3. His jeans are dark blue. His belt and shoes are black. His shirt is green and white. 4. Her jacket is light blue and her skirt is dark blue. Her blouse is white and her scarf is pink. Her high heels are black. 5. Her dress is light blue and her scarf is pink. Her coat is beige. Her high heels are black. 6. Her skirt and jacket are light blue. Her blouse is gray. 
Her scarf is orange. Her high heels are black. Did you complete the exercise? Repeat, please. Okay. Page 24, exercise 6, listening. His shirt is green. Part A. Listen to someone describe these clothes. Number the pictures from 1 to 6. 1. His shirt is green and his jeans are light blue. His belt is black. His shoes are light brown. 2. His shirt is white. His belt is black and his shoes are dark brown. His jeans are dark blue. 3. His jeans are dark blue. His belt and shoes are black. His shirt is green and white. 4. Her jacket is light blue and her skirt is dark blue. Her blouse is white and her scarf is pink. Her high heels are black. 5. Her dress is light blue and her scarf is pink. Her coat is beige. Her high heels are black. 6. Her skirt and jacket are light blue. Her blouse is gray. Her scarf is orange. Her high heels are black. Okay, what number is Patrick? Three. Three. Three, okay. Grab one, Alex. Two. Two. Beth. Two. Six. Six. All right. Anna? Five. 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 And Grace? Four. Four. Uh-huh. Okay. So, yes, you're correct. And uh, Grace is one. Alex is two. Patrick is three. Grace is uh, four. Yes. It's this lady, Grace. And then we have Anna. Anna is five. And finally, Beth is six. Okay, you did a very nice job with this listening exercise. Any question? Tenemos preguntas? No. no. Okay. No. Then, in the next exercise, we have vocabulary about weather and seasons around the world. I think that we have this. Okay, let's listen from here. Just, I'm going to make it uh, smaller so you can see the whole picture. Okay, so we have weather and seasons around the world. Do we know the meaning of weather? What is the meaning of weather? If you look at the pictures, Clima. What, clima. Yes, so weather is clima. And seasons? Temporadas. Son las estaciones o la temporada del año. Así se llaman las estaciones o temporadas. Seasons. Around the world. Let's listen and then you tell me if there is new vocabulary for you. Page 25, exercise 7, snapshot. Weather and seasons around the world. Listen and practice. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in South Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. 
It's snowing. It's very cold. Questions about the vocabulary? In, in South Korea, it's raining. It's hot and humid. Uh-huh. Yes. It's weird, right? It's summer. In El Salvador, for example, when it's summer, it's hot and sunny. Mm -hmm. Hot and sunny. Aquí nosotros es hot y caliente, sunny, soleado. Pero in summer, summer es verano. El verano en Corea del Sur, summer in South Korea, it's raining, está lluvioso. Está lloviendo, as you can see. It's hot and humid. Caliente y húmedo. Qué desesperante de ser un verano en South Korea. Bueno, ahorita sí está por acá. Hot and humid. Sometimes raining. So, yes, we know. Any other question? Any other question? Pronunciation of uh, it's falling in the US, it's cold, it's cloudy and windy. Correct. That is correct. Fall in the US, it's cool, it's cloudy and windy. You did it great. Any other question? ¿Qué significa eso, teacher? Uh, the, the user, o sea, eso que significa lo que dice, lo que la, la descripción de, de usa. Ajá, uh -huh. fall en US, cuando es fall es eh, otoño. Fall es otoño y también le dicen autumn. Son dos formas de decirle, es la misma temporada. Está eh, cool, es fresco, cloudy. Si ven el cielo, hay muchas nubes. Está nublado. Cloudy es nublado. Y windy es que está haciendo viento. Hace viento. Está, el clima está ventoso. Any other question? Teacher, con referente a lo de... De Rusia, más que toda la pronunciación de la parte de abajo donde it, este, it's snowing, it's, it's snowing. snowing, it's, it's snowing. very cold. Ah, okay, thank you. You're welcome. It's snowing, it's very cold. Any other question? More questions? No? No. No. No, teacher. Okay, I'm going to check attendance for the second time and then we will continue uh, practicing. Benjamin Antonio? Brian Henry Rivas. Present. Thank you. Carla Patricia Ramirez. Carlos Enrique Mendoza. Even present, teacher. Thank you. Danny Elias Manzano. Teacher. Thank you. Eric Cifredo Martinez. Eric Sigfredo Martinez. 
Hamilton Arnoldo Sigüenza. Present teacher. Thank you. Héctor Manuel Ramos Arroyo. Present teacher. Thank you. José Alexander Araujo. Present teacher. Thank you. José David Cardona. Present teacher. Thank you, José. Marlon Alberto Peñate. Marlon Omar Menjibar. Presentation. Thank you. Marvin Arnoldo Caballero. Present. Thank you. Os Oscar Alexander Vázquez. Present. Thank you. Oscar Armando Flores. Present. Thank you. Samuel Osvaldo Flores. Walter Antonio Mejía Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, we're going to continue then. Okay, let me continue sharing the audio material. Okay, uh, here we have. And this is a conversation. Where are the ladies? Where are the ladies in this conversation? What do you see in the picture? You can say it in Spanish. Where are they? They are. They are outside of the laundromat. Uh -huh. They are getting out of the laundromat. Mm -hmm. How is the weather? How is the weather? It's snowing. Uh -huh. It's snowing. Okay. Very good. Now, let's listen to the conversation and then we will discuss vocabulary and pronunciation. Page 25, Exercise 8, Conversation. It's really cold. Listen and practice. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing. And it's windy, so it's really cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, I'm not. They're at home. What about your scarf? It's at home, too. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't very warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Let's take a taxi. Good idea. Okay, questions? Mm, teacher, uh, a question. Uh -huh. ahí, ahí donde dice, tengo, tengo la duda de cómo se dice en Julie, well, dice, your wing, your, your, your coat, así se dice. Well, you're wearing, wearing, well, you're wearing your coat. Well, you're wearing your coat. Uh -huh. eh, todo lo que uno lleva puesto es el verbo es wear. Como ahí está en continuo, lleva ing, wearing. You're wearing your coat. Any other question? Teacher. 
Yes. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde está Pat? La última. No, más bien dicho, la antepenúltima. Eh, la palabra, no sé si es bit, mi. Cow, o no sé cómo pronunciar esa ah, palabra. But. I hear, but my coat. By my. But. But. Excellent. Yeah. But my coat. But. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But my coat. Dice la última palabra donde dice buena idea. O sea, la idea, eh, no sé, me confundí con escuchar eso. Idea. 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 Ajá, good idea. Ah. O sea que la S se transforma en I. Good idea. Uh -huh. ah, idea. Ah, ok. Pero... Idea. Y ahí nos traiciona, ¿verdad? El español. Por eso es, si estamos leyendo, terminamos diciendo idea. Sí. Pero recuérdense que I... es idea. Idea. Good idea. Any other question? No. Ok, les voy a poner el audio y lo vamos a ir pausando para que ustedes repitan en casa, siempre con los micrófonos off y luego vamos a practicar para eh, afinar pronunciación o algún detalle que haya que reforzar. Page 25, exercise 8, conversation. It's really cold. Listen and practice. Oh, no! What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's windy, so it's really cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No. Are you wearing your gloves? No, I'm not. They're at home. What about your scarf? It's at home, too. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't very warm. And I'm not wearing boots. Let's take a taxi. Good idea. Page 25, Exercise 8, Conversation. It's really cold. Listen and practice. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's windy, so it's really cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, I'm not. They're at home.
What about your scarf? It's at home, too. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't very warm. And I'm not wearing boots. Let's take a taxi. Good idea. Volunteers to role play. Danny, who wants to practice with Danny? Danny, Danny. Danny. Carlos. Okay, let's listen to Danny and Carlos. Uh, Danny, si queremos o yo con Pat. Oh no. What? The mother? It's snowing and it's windy. So it's really cold. Are you wearing your glove? No, I'm not. They're at home. And what about your scarf? It's at home too. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't very warm and I'm not wearing boots. Let's take a bite. Good idea. Excellent. Excellent job. Thank you so much for practicing. You did it excellent. Uh, two more volunteers. I saw Marvin. Yo, yo, yo. And, okay. Yo, 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 Marvin. Okay, Marvin. And who's going to help Marvin? Hamilton. Hamilton. Okay, let's listen to Marvin and Hamilton. Inician vos, Marvin, o yo. Voy a iniciar yo ahí. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing and is it windy? So it's really cool. Are you wearing your gloves? No, I am not. They are not home. What about your scarf? scarf? It's at home, too. Well, you are wearing your coat. But my, my coat is very warm. And I'm not wearing a boot. Let's take a taxi. Good idea. Good idea. Idea. Okay. Excellent. Very well done. Thank you so much for practicing. Uh, let's listen other two participants. Volunteer. Omar. Okay. Another volunteer to practice with Marlon Omar. Yo. Okay, Jose. Thank you. Dale, comienza tú. Oh. Oh. What? What's the matter? It's snowing and it's, and it's windy, so it's really cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, I am not. Get it at, at home. What's able to your scarf? It's at home, too. Were you wearing your coat? But my con my coat is very warm and I am not wearing boots. Let like a taxi. Good idea. Idea. Very good. Yeah. Very well done. Thank you so much for participating. 
we still have time to go to the breakout rooms and practice this conversation. Let me stop this screen. Okay, I'm going to create the rooms and share the conversation with you. Remember to practice and change roles. Practicar y cambiar roles para que hagan las dos partes.
Ok, uh, ya estamos todos de regreso. Esto sería todo por el día de ahora. Mañana también tenemos clase y luego creo que sería hasta el próximo sábado. Sí, ahí les mandé las fechas que tengo yo. Así es que pues gracias por su participación, por su tiempo y nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Goodbye, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, take care. Bye, coach. Bye.